Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pansis. If you, it's your first time tuning in, please smash the subscribe button. Today we are back at it. This is the final farewell with this 2012. It is going to, actually, it's going to one of my neighbors. So it's not really traveling too far away from us, but uh, it is definitely leaving my possession. She's got uh, 80, uh, excuse me, 78.5 on the clock. And uh, this car has been a fantastic car for the last five years that I've owned it. This November, in fact, like this month, this week, is pretty much the exact five-year anniversary since I picked this car up. So uh, I picked it up with 27,000 miles, or excuse me, 26,000 miles, and we put a, uh, just over 50,000 miles that were flawless. All we did was brakes, tires, oil changes. That was it. Really just a flawless car. Nothing to say that was bad about it. Um, I don't even know why I'm getting rid of it, but we're getting rid of it. So let's clean out the car. This is the final farewell. All right, boys, so first things first is we gotta pull out our easy pass. That's number one. And then we also have installed my cop radar wire. It was a hard wire in the car, so we gotta go ahead and undo that. We got our wire out. Just gonna retape up some of the harness on the car so it's nice and clean. Should be good to go on that. So we got all that situated. Now it's time to clean out the center console. It's always amazing the kind of stuff you collect over the few years you own a car inside the car. Lots of uh, papers and nonsense, you know. What's funny is a lot of these pens have been sitting in here for five years from my old Saab from before this car. And uh, I've maybe once used one of them, you know. Stuff like this, you don't even touch. All right, so everything's cleaned up. You guys can see you got everything nice and clean inside. We even kept all of our original outlet plugs nice and clean. I left uh, some of the battery receipts and some maintenance records just so uh, the next owner knows when I changed the battery. It was about two years ago already, maybe a year and a half. So it's still pretty good, the battery, obviously. They last about five years. So front of the car is good. Let's move to the back seat here. There's nothing back here except maybe a little vacuuming. And then, of course, an umbrella. All right, so. This is going to be the final farewell errand for this car. We're going to, first off, we're going to get the outside washed because it's been sitting for the last couple of weeks while we're waiting for the uh, DMV appointment to approach and all the stuff to be processed for the sale. So that's really what's been holding us back on this. So the inside's done, as you guys saw. Now we're going to just get the outside done. I'll put a little gas in there since it's uh, below a quarter. I don't want to sell it to the guy, especially a neighbor. No complaints and uh, 
you know, if you guys are gonna buy a Volvo S60 right now, these things have depreciated pretty nicely. So for ten to fifteen thousand dollars, sometimes less, depending on the spec and of course miles and condition, you guys can get yourself one of these. Pretty reasonable. So if you're looking for something cheap that's nice, quality, fast, this is the T6 with the 3.0 inline six with the turbo. So it's got 300 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque that Volvo put out. That was back when they really knew how to make engines. Uh, things really fast. And of course, it's all-wheel drive. So if you need it for the winter, you don't have to really worry about rear-wheel drive issues or front-wheel drive issues. It's all-wheel. So it's a great car all in all. Fantastic. I'm gonna miss it. And uh, like I said, there's really no reason for me to sell this. It was just a matter of maybe planning on the next car. And uh, I think that's what this is gonna allow me to do is get myself a new daily driver uh, in the next couple months. I'm just gonna shop around and take my time because really I'm not in any need of a car. As you guys might know, I have a couple of sobs laying around and you know everybody's been working from home. So you know if Melanie's not uh, commuting, I can use her car, whatever the case is, I got a car on hand. So that's the story here. So let's get this thing to the wash. This is my favorite car wash in North Jersey and it's because it's literally a hand wash. They have it uh, set up like a normal car wash and the car goes on the rollers on the track you get out and you, they do their thing inside the car before you let it go through the wash and then on the inside there's a couple guys that actually soap up the car and wash the car by hand and then of course it's rinsed off with the machines and air dried before it uh, exits for the hand dry so everything is done by hand which is really nice you don't have to worry you don't have to really worry about brushes scratching up the paint and uh I'll show you guys the paint on the outside. As you know, we've done ceramic coatings on this car for the last five years of ownership and really took care of the outside, of course, the inside as well, but really took care of the outside um, thoroughly with treatments and protectants. So once we're done here, I'll show you guys what that looks like and she'll be off and running here. guys so this is the car all cleaned up ready to roll out of here last thing we got to do is take off these uh, good old uh, license plates since it's no longer valid for me as of Monday so uh, that's it guys next next thing is up here I'm gonna give you a little update on the Saab so let me just finish up these uh, license plates and be good to go all right so we are in the Saab here and uh, man this thing's got some warning lights but none of it's really that big of a deal so anyways uh, I've been stalling on this a little bit and uh, just because I'm trying to finish up all the other projects we've been working on and here's the deal we're gonna get a quote a second quote I already got one I'm gonna get a second quote for the dropping the fuel tank on this to get the uh, fuel pump replaced. I'm not doing that on the driveway. From what I heard, the exhaust needs to be moved out of the way. And if that thing's all rusted, I don't want to really open up a can of worms and I hate working with exhaust. 
because it's super complicated to work with because there's no flexibility with working with an exhaust. You're working with metal, right? Uh, as for some of the other issues, the airbag light, I suspect, is maybe a sensor that's unplugged or loose wire or possibly faulty because I'm getting multiple airbag lights at once. What I'm gonna do in this video here is post a picture from my phone, from the Tech 2, from the local Saab guy because I couldn't read the codes on this. And what also I discovered is when I first started driving out, the car was fine. And then the second time I started it, I lost some power. It was like kind of not in a limp mode, if you will, but it was not getting full boost and it was loss of power. And then when we scanned the codes, it was showing open, uh, an open source on the fuel injectors and so on and so forth with some other codes. So I've done some digging around online and discovered that a common failure on these cars is the ECM, which is the ECU, I guess, essentially, can go bad uh, as they age. And what you need to do is like the ABS module a couple weeks ago is send it in to get refurbished and it should fix all of those open circuits that is causing the engine to lose its power. I'm not, I don't have any engine light, but I do have codes in the system which were showing some of these faults with the fuel and all the things. I'll put that up right here as well for you. So that's kind of like an update on this. So you're looking at like 200 bucks just to get the ECM remand and about five or 600 bucks for the fuel uh, fuel tank to be dropped. So that's 600 bucks plus it's to as 800 bucks. So figure figure a thousand dollars all in really because there's a suspension creek that we got to fix. So figure a thousand to 1200 bucks all in in parts for this car, and uh, she should be all ready ready to go. I mean everything else is working. We got to reseal the roof a little bit. Other than that, the car runs good. Eventually it needs some tires and brakes, but that's a separate story. So. Uh, in terms of getting this thing right, that's what we're looking at. Forget the brakes and the tires, because that's any car. So that's the update for you on the Saab, is we need to pull the ECU out, get it refurbished, and get a second quote on that fuel tank, and then discover where that airbag sensor is faulty, whether it's a plug or a sensor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little final farewell on my Volvo, and of course an update for you on this Saab, because I know I launched it on the, on the uh, YouTube channel like a week or two ago. So I figured I'd give you guys an update. Uh, behind the scenes, we were doing some work on this in terms of investigating what's what's up with this electrical GM stuff that we have to deal with here. And then uh, we should be off to the horse, uh, you know, we should be off to the races here. Another week or two, we'll probably start to figure out what we're doing exactly with the car. So stay tuned for more guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Follow me at Kyle Pantsis if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Stay tuned.